your pitch, honey. You do what you Okay, do. got it. All right. I am up here and okay, here we go. We believe that for extension to have the greatest impact among our stakeholders, we must work together at all levels, administration, specialists, and agents, to constantly evolve, develop, and support the most appropriate and relevant work. To achieve that, we propose a multimodal communication and feedback loop to be incorporated into NDSU extension. Specifically, we propose number one, to develop an agent elect and specialist elect position to sit on the extension leadership team. Number two, an evaluation system where agents, specialists, and administrators receive construction fe constructive feedback on relevance and performance at all levels in extension. And number three, an evolution of job descriptions based on needs within counties, paying particular attention to single agent counties so they can best serve their communities. We believe this will enable extension to be more proactive and maximize efforts to achieve the greatest. Thank you, Nicole. Too many of our North Dakota communities are stuck inside of the box. Limited by, we've tried that before. The same 10 people showing up at meetings and a top-down approach to community development. Close your eyes and imagine a process that will unlock the potential of emerging leaders and new solutions to local issues. Unlock the box is the new key to community vitality. It's a process for generating innovative ideas and supporting community change that is anchored by an event to spur the co-creation of innovative community projects that will compete for funding. Winning projects will also receive continuing support from community coaches led by NDSU Extension. Please show your support for Unlock the Box and help us create communities that will be healthy, vibrant, and sustainable for generations. Two words. The program of Farm Strategic Direction allows farmers, farm and ranch managers to dream while improving their operations and achieve their goals, instead of focusing on what needs to be done. Farm and ranch managers could benefit from making a strategic plan, taking a step back, asking how could we do it better? What would you change? What would you try? What would you think would work? And what could go wrong? Knowing what they want to do and do, and as extension, we could help them develop the how. How could we do it? How could we change this? How could we make it work? And how it might all go wrong? NDSU Extension would provide the structure, format, and resources to get the ideas flowing. I've got 15 seconds. Go Bison. <laughs> this program is called the Farm and, uh, Farm and Ranch Enterprise Entrepreneurship Program, or the FREE program. We are operating in an ag environment currently with razor-thin margins, uncertainty, be, uncertainty about markets, and widespread detrimental weather events. We in Extension, especially those of us in ag, are quick to point out many of the problems we face, and yet, all too often, the best we can do is provide incremental improvement advice. The free program will provide alternative enterprise advice and analysis for existing farms to achieve the following. Help solve some of the labor issues surrounding ag by starting new enterprises that will utilize assets that often sit idle. Reduce revenue risk by adding an independent or negatively correlated enterprise which will help stabilize farm incomes. Create opportunities for heirs to return to the family farm without massive additional capital expenditures. In essence, this is an opportunity for farmers to grow, manage risk, reduce average costs, and increase profitability. Yeah. Two Good seconds. Good job. Two <laughs> seconds. Good job. Good. So I, I think we all know the farm situation in North Dakota. I mean, it's bad, really bad. It was bad and then we got two feet of snow bad, right? Our team is looking at doing something new, not necessarily innovative, but especially impactful. What we're gonna do is assemble the information that we already have at NDSU, put it online, add some more material, and get this out to farmers now, as soon as possible. Right now, what they're experiencing is really, really difficult. As always, North Dakota producers really don't like to ask questions in public, and we're gonna talk about or at least address some sensitive things as it comes to financial management and risk management. Again, we're gonna assemble information that we have, find gaps, develop an online program, 
hosted a, a web-based system, have solutions, web-based presentations, and get it out to farmers as soon as we can in a week-by-week -week method. I'll tell you more, all I'm asking for right now is for you to hit number four on your clicker. Our mission is to put human health at the center of our agricultural, agricultural efforts and build farm and family resilience. Why? Agriculture sustains the human family. And health is the most important resource that sustains agriculture and human communities. We propose an integrated and multifaceted Farm Strong North Dakota initiative for rural populations that models and promotes holistic and healthy living practices, enabling healthy families, farms, and communities grounded in sustainability and intentional wellness. Using the three-pronged strategy, we will first engage in focused conversations on health and agriculture with media. Second, train and support a group of committed community professionals and rural health advocates in <coughs> integrated health approaches, and third, invite farm and ranch populations to explore a team-based farm health inventory that addresses operational resilience, financial health, individual and social health. We're, we are dissatisfied with widespread depression. Great social We're the communication squad, a group of extension and REC professionals. We've heard from colleagues that employees are seeking to improve communication and build relationships with other staff. We feel an internal social network would be a great way for employees to share information, help and support each other in their work, and build relationships. We envision an online forum that allows individuals from multiple disciplines to proactively weigh in on questions current issues, and program and research ideas that affect North Dakota communities. Through this platform, we believe improved communication will build a cohesive network that will enhance effectiveness and increase our success in serving all communities. Did you know that youth suicide rates in North Dakota are two times the national rate? And in North Dakota, according to Kids Count, Native American youth suicide rates are almost four times that of white youth. These are sobering statistics and highlight the mental health need in our state. Because our team believes that everyone has the right to optimum mental health free of stigma, we will develop a mental wellness campaign for all youth that builds skills and provides resources to achieve mental wellness in a way that is different from but complementary to therapeutic services. We also believe that youth know their struggles best, so they will be involved in every stage of this campaign from design to development to delivery, ultimately reducing rates of youth suicidal ideation, attempts, and completion. Thank you for your four points. <laughs> Thank you very much. Do you or someone you know struggle with mental health? Have you felt the stigma like people don't understand? Mental wellness allows people to reach their potential, cope with stress, and contribute to their communities. Mental wellness begins with feeling valued, feeling self-worth, Social support is the key. Our program is a simulation, a transformative experience that will shift your perspective. People will come together in groups to experience the continuum of mental health while building skills to respond. The result will be unlike boring and dull informational trainings. This is an immersive experience that cultivates compassion so humans can invest in each other in the face of adversity to stimulate vitality. Will you invest four points? In All right, our team wants to focus on uh, equipment, sanitation, and clean-out clinics at targeted areas across the state. For example, we want to hold uh, combine clean-out uh, clinics in southeast North Dakota. Why we want to target the southeast part of the state? Herbicide-resistant water hemp. This is a weed that has shown the ability to become resistant to every mode of action we have on the corn and soybean market, with no new herbicides coming out for at least another five or ten years. 
This is also a weed that can produce several hundred thousand seed per plant, and it's one of the top ranked weeds nationally as far as resistance and causing losses to farmers. So clearly we're not gonna spray our way out of this situation with new herbicides. What we can do is focus on preventing spread. Combine spread weeds quite easily. If we hold clinics at these targeted areas, we can show farmers how in 20 quick minutes, we can clean a combine, clean those several hundred thousand seeds out of that combine and prevent them from going to the next field. I've got two seconds to vote for. <laughs> Good job, Joe, thank you. How would you all like to make a $45,000 decision based on the accuracy of the weather forecast? That's what we ask farmers to do every year when they're making just one fungicide application in their crops. Um, and as extension professionals, we're asked to help them with that decision, but economic loss can be very challenging to predict, and crop budgets are tight. Just because you can control a disease, maybe you shouldn't. What we wanna do is provide information that we already have, what fungicides are effective on a certain disease, uh, what they cost, what that translates into in terms of return on investments, and supply that to farmers through an easy to use web-based tool. Our goal with this is to empower farmers to make fact-based decisions about their pesticide applications that will allow their farm operation Good job. Yeah? Okay. Have you ever advertised and prepared for a program or an event to only have one or two people show up? Let's face it, people have really busy lives and it can be hard to get their butts in the seats when competing with other commitments. Rather than expecting people to come to us all the time, let's meet them where they're located. With most of a person's day typically spent at work, and a workforce of over 380,000 people, an initiative, starting, initiative targeting work sites could reach a sizable segment of North Dakota adults. We would like your support in developing a workplace wellness toolkit, but not just any ordinary toolkit. This toolkit is designed to take an individualized approach to health promotion, allowing organizations to address their specific needs it empowers organizations and businesses to actively promote employee health and create a culture where employee well-being matters. The new guy, I hope this isn't part of like the initiation for an extension <laughs> program. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, you know the smartphone in your hand or pocket that takes up all your free time and is bad for your brain? What if it was used for good? Uh, we are presenting the NDSU Extension app that is specific to your local community with relevant research and evidence-based information that will make it difficult not to, leave, not to live a healthy lifestyle. Extension programs and resources across all program areas will be incorporated with built-in prompts, notifications, calendars, community events, trackings, basically a one-stop shop for um, one stop shop for all community members and partners. So in addition to asking for money, of course, it's a big thing, uh, we are asking for support, marketing, and promotion of, fully, of a fully customizable extension app that is engaging and user friendly. Uh, we will immediately be able to track downloads, clicks, and contacts, but also report trends with county and statewide data with health indicators. For example, uh, family physical fitness activity and participation in extension related activities. Good job. Oh, see. Who likes cool interactive experiences? Tech savvy people, ages 25 to 45 do. We feel the Forkers will empower them to sustain healthy lifestyle behaviors with research-based extension information delivered in novel ways. We will be the place they go to for their information. We will gather input from our target age group using a Twitter chat, Qualtrics survey, and direct interaction. In our unique Field to Fork health and egg related project, we will meet this age group head on through social media platforms such as Facebook, Pinterest, t Twitter, Instagram, and texting, and then a face-to-face -face experience piloted in five locations such as our RECs. We will connect our target group to Ag and Extension and invite the involvement of our long-standing long support, supporters, commodity groups. Come join this cool and interactive experience with the Field to Fork Five.
So we have an issue in this country where a majority of consumers are disconnected from agriculture, right? So as people are driving across our beautiful state, they see empty fields. They don't see the commodities that are being grown. Uh, but they do see things like New Salem Sioux. They see uh, stop and take pictures with uh, giant sand hill cranes or the enchanted highway, right? In cities like Nashville, people line up around city blocks to take a picture in front of a mural of angel wings, right? So our goal is to create something that people stop, take a picture of, and share, and they learn something about egg without even realizing it, and they share that message. Um, we would like to create a stimulating and educational interactive art showcase for consumers enabling an informed connection to agriculture unlike previous campaigns. So to learn more, vote for. All right, seems like every week we see a new video show up on social media that at highlights the perceived negatives that they see in the agricultural industry. Every week a new article comes out talking about how GMOs are bad or pesticides are destroying the environment. We are the group that's dealing with the public disconnect of agriculture, and we want to enable people to make positive food choices that are not based on fear-mongering information and articles. Our goal is to create a virtual grocery store website that will directly connect the consumers to the producers via websites, via fun fact information. We also plan to have videos where people can explore an apple orchard or they could go and listen to a producer talk about why they raise the cattle they do. We also intend to directly be in the grocery store with Ask Farmer Booths where an animal agriculturalist could explain why they vaccinate calves, why they do the different things they do, or why an orchard would use those pesticides to control insects to make the food healthier. We hope that you'll encourage and vote for our so close. When you look good, you feel good, and you do good. Yesterday, our friend of Extension stood up on this stage and said, I got your back. But he also said, we got a lot of work to do yet, guys. So, what's that? I, I do work for Extension. Oh, no, I'm, I'm not based out of Fargo. I live right in your community. Mm -hmm. Oh, you wish that Sally would have worn her Extension shirt? Yeah. Well, Karen, did you know that she was allocated one shirt and it didn't fit and she didn't want to be humiliated by her director, <laughs> so instead she chose to wear her polka dots today. We have all felt, heard, and said some of these things. So what are we going to do about it? The NDSU Extension Public Perceptions Issues Team is going to create an easy, consistent, boots on the ground branding campaign. We want you to be proud and excited of where you work. Isn't it time that a North Dakota knows that you are Extension, we are Extension, that this is NDSU Extension! We are the Reaching New and Underserved Populations Group. We believe that reaching new and underserved populations will strengthen and unify communities by meeting the needs of all people. Each program area and extension is different and has populations that are not being served. Our solution is to develop a toolkit that provides concrete and practical ideas and methods for enabling each program area to identify, engage, and produce new resources for the new and underserved populations. Imagine building in a relationship with people that have never had the extension experience and all you have to do is press four. <laughs> have you ever been frustrated by vacant positions? Have you ever had more tasks added to your workload due to turnover? Have you been discouraged by the glooming frequency of resignation emails? We all know the cost associated with turnover is high, with a minimum of 150% of that agent's salary to replace and retain that employee. That figure becomes even higher when we consider the nature of relationships and trusts that are broken. We have a plan to incentivize workload that is above and beyond current job responsibilities to improve fairness, compensation, and job satisfaction. We call upon administration to recognize and compensate those who take the state level responsibilities and address issues of accountability and fairness. We are asking to redefine and clarify job expectations and to create a tiered incentivized program to compensate for time spent outside those expectations. I'm ready. Can you imagine specialists who know every county agent, 
Can you imagine being financially rewarded for continuing education? Can you imagine new employees feeling confident in their first year? Can you imagine at least 50 applicants per job? Can you imagine feeling a passion for your job every day? Can you imagine impact statements writing themselves? And finally, can you imagine when burnout in an in extension looks like too many candles on a cake? Team Forever 21 is proposing a rewarding training system for employees that will empower them to find and pursue their passion and two, to create a culture of excellence like no other in universities nor industry. This training system promises you to reduce our employee turnover, ensuring a bright, bold future for extension. Yep. Okay, so I'm from team The Dirty Worms. We believe in sustaining and improving the land, natural resources, and its people for the current and future generations of North Dakota. To do that, we will develop a series of soil resource management schools that teaches the principles of soil health management tailored to the various regions of North Dakota. We still have a school so if anyone, you know. If you decide you've lost it, it's up here. Oh, well, yes, the clicker. So we Me too. Number 22. Last time I checked. Last time you checked. Yep. Your name is Chris. 10 4. Meet Molly. There's your clock. Ready? Yep. Go. Okay, so I'm from Team The Dirty Worms. We believe in sustaining and improving the land, natural resources, and its people for the current and future generations of North Dakota. On June 7, 2019, 40 mile an hour winds launched bare soil thousands of feet into the air. This is 50 years after we put a man on the moon and we are still damaging our soil. We need to build and maintain durable ag soils in perpetuity. We need to limit tillage, use diverse cropping, supplemented with cover crops so we have a 365 day live rut to protect and enhance our soil. Our group, 23, has the expertise and knowledge and tools to put together a system to fix this serious challenge. Please help us regenerate, conserve, and improve soil health so our great-great-grandchildren can have a farm with precious, healthy soil. What better legacy can we leave? Healthy soil, healthy world, healthy future. North Dakota has always had a close tie to the soil. This is reflected in the motto on our coat of arms, strength from the soil. The health and conservation of soils is imperative for the production of forage, food, and fiber for the world and the, for current and future generations. Many producers are jumping on the soil health bandwagon. However, are they making changes that are appropriate and not science-based and site-specific are appropriate for their their operations. We are proposing the development of a soil health kit for North Dakota producers that helps them assess soil health on their operation and aid in the selection of site-specific practices to enhance soil health on their operations. We will partner with the NRCS, soil conservation districts, and crop advisors to pilot the kits in counties. The kits will include guides, tools, and access to, to assess soil health, determine management options, and monitor effectiveness of practices implemented. The soil health kits will empower... We're ready? Okay. No barley, no beer. Everybody's heard that phrase, right? <laughs> We're gonna apply it to soil health. Here's how this works. Barley is an excellent crop for soil health. Not only does it do well in saline areas that most of our farmers are dealing with, it's also a short season crop that we can fit in a cover crop after it and graze. Now here's where the beer fits in. Everybody likes beer, for the most part, 99% of the population, and beer brings people together. So we're looking at a soil health event that would bring accurate information from extension and farmers to consumers, to teachers, to lenders, anyone that has anything to do with, with purchasing agricultural products or has an interest in agriculture. So this event would be, would be held probably in an urban area. 
And the difference between this event and a farm to table event that have been held in the past is that we would take people to the field after that. We would organize a field trip after that so people can get their hands in the soil, see what a healthy soil is and how farmers are using these practices. One size does not fit all. We believe employees who are engaged and passionate are the key to building relationships and trust in communities across North Dakota. A quote from our football team, those that stay will be champions. One size does not fit all. We propose a change to how we recruit. Our job announcements will become exciting and inspiring. A position specific informational video will be part of every announcement. Recruiting candidates with passion will be a high priority. All of us will be expected to recruit. Focus recruitment for focus positions. Truth in advertising. To be champions, we need to recruit champions. One size does not fit all. Go Bison. <laughs>